Well, I guess the answer to your question would be, if we look down in the Mississippi where uh, the Delta, where Agent Harper established, they basically, anywhere between 80 to 90 percent of the biomass is made up of Agent Harper. So what we would see if these were to become established, and my staff had some, some literature which would have been in your press kit, which would show that over a period of about 20 years, if Asian carp were to be introduced, they would spread predominantly through all of the Great Lakes. And one would expect that uh, the fishery that we have would be severely impacted if we didn't take other control measures. And that's the work we're doing on, because the first phase is to ensure they don't get into Canadian waters, and if they do arrive, to ensure that we're ready to address them right at the doorstep and turn them back. And so, sorry, what, so what is the uh, missing, like the weakest link into the Great Lakes? What is the weakest waterway? There's a number of vectors we would expect them to come in. Uh, you know, they could come in through inadvertent uh, an angler, uh, through bait. They could come in through transport, and we've had several seizures of Asian carp in uh, border points. So we work very closely with CBSA and our colleagues from the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources. So I wouldn't want to say there's one vector that they would come in. There's very uh, various vectors that they could come in the Canadian waters. Well, 